Today we're working with our new Ultimate Marble Medium, our new line of wood blanks, and our Ultimate Paints. So I'm just going to add one cup of warm water to my container and one quarter teaspoon of Ultimate Marble Medium. And shake. One cup of warm water. Once the mixture is completely smooth and I don't see any more clumps, then I'll just let this sit for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna start with some complementary colors. So this is green opal, verdigris, moss, moonstone, and just swirl the colors until I have the effect that I want. And then I just have a bit of wire that I have bent the end up on. I'm going to hook this through and then I'm just going to try to dip with the front side down and then pull out. Find the place in here that I want, the pattern. Dip down, pull out, tap, tap, tap off the excess. Do the same for these top pieces. And I'll set those aside to dry for a minute. So I want to move on to a different color. I'm just going to absorb the top layer of this paint with a bit of paper towel. And the rest of the color will just sink to the bottom. Take that out and that will allow us to start with a new color set. So for this next color combo, I'm gonna go with some blues. I'm gonna start out with lapis, add in some turquoise. This will just do some Victorian gold. And we'll put a little bit more turquoise, more lapis wiping off my brush from the previous color set and I'm going to swirl through to make my pattern. I want this pattern to be a little bit bigger I think so I'm not going to swirl it as many times. Larger sections of color. Okay so we're ready to dip this next color. Tap off the excess. Next set I think I'm going to go a little bit more on uh, the green side. So I'm going to start with the colors that I've already put in here and I'm just going to add emerald just to start with. Moss, some verdigris, and some aged bronze emerald and swirl. And I'm just going to pick the area and dip. So I'm ready to clean out my water to start on another color. And I'm just gonna dip in some cardstock to pick up the pattern that's on the top and we can reuse this to put in bezels later. So as you can see, these pieces have completely dried to the touch and so we're ready to glaze them. So I am using some of our original glaze to give it more of a glossy finish. We also have matte glaze, so if you want to uh, preserve this matte look, then that's what you'll want to use. And then I'm just going to go in with the tip and fill the entire surface. You could also use a silicone brush to do this if you like, or get most of it on and then come back with the brush to spread it around sure that we have any bubbles in that we don't want on there popped and you can just use that with a bit of do that with a bit of wire or the end of a head pin or eye pin and you can just wick up any extra with a bit of paper towel uh, get too much on there like I did with that one if you spill, it's okay because it's going to dry clear. Not a big deal. Anything with a metal tip works the best for 
popping bu bubbles. So right now this has a bit of a milky appearance, but it's gonna dry completely clear. Again, what's nice about the silicone mat is that these are not going to stick, even if you have some that leaks um, over the sides. So we'll let this front side dry. So all of these pieces have completely dried. And as you can see, the glaze leaves a nice glossy finish on the tops. And then on our backs, you can see about the more matte version without the glaze.